you know everything that we've done. What did it even mean? I can see it now. Supernatural. The end. And the cover is just a gravestone that says Winchester. That's Chuck's ending? No. After everything that he has put us through, I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some glorified fanboy get the last word. This feels bigger than us. You know? And, and I'm out of ideas. Jamie, please. Please. You can't do this to the fans. It's awful. Horrible. Hopeless. I can do anything. I'm a writer. Fans are gonna love it. Hi guys, welcome to the end and to a new video talking about the end of the show. Unfortunately, the show we love Supernatural, the season premiere tonight for the final season of the show until at least further notice if they ever change their minds in the future. We've seen a lot of hints for that. Hopefully they come back, but for now it is the official ending and we got a brand new trailer for it called Last Ride by Shaving People Bunting Things Cha, which is a post-production team on the show. They put up the best trailers, much better than the CW ones. They're always very creative. They always lean more towards horror, even if the actual season doesn't have much horror in it. They also have this cool horror vibe in their trailer, and a new one is no different. It is the final season, as if that's not scary enough for us. It has a lot of uh, crazy twists and turns in a trailer, a lot of dead characters coming back. We know, of course, Adam has been confirmed to come back a while ago. We see some interesting bits in the trailer for it. I already watched it, uh, really loved it. It uh, has a lot of crazy things going on, flashing on the screen really quick. So in this video, I'm gonna do more of a reaction commentary and a breakdown of the trailer. So let's go through it together and talk about it. Unfortunately, it's the last ride, and we see from the little graphics they do blood dripping on the logo. That's if that's not foreshadowing enough, I don't know what is. Hopefully, they do not die at the end and they get some version of peace, as Jared and Jensen said, that does not involve permanent death because the Winchesters can always come back even if they do die at the end of the season. So, uh, little hint we're getting from the very first bit of the trailer here. Not a good one. Okay, some dead person, and um, is that supposed to be a mark on her face, similar to a mark of Cain, or just a random pattern? But yeah, I'm gonna be stopping a lot throughout this trailer because we're getting a lot of hints, guys. What is this? There's a force field going through the floor. We can see a bit of it later in the trailer. I don't know what this represents exactly. Some kind of force field by God, a monster, he's keeping him out of somewhere. I don't know, can only speculate, obviously. That might have been Kitch, the guy flying through. Kind of looked like him. If not Dean, I don't know, kind of looked like each other. This makes you think of all of it, you know, everything that we've done. Is that the Colt or a normal gun? I think it's a Colt. So the Colt is back. Wonder who Dean is aiming it at. Couldn't just be God, right? Because we know... Do we know that Colt wouldn't kill God? Probably, well, can easily guess that, right? Five things it cannot kill, Archangels, including Lucifer. God would be an easy guess, so... Could just be someone else being pointing it at. Doubt it will, even, it will even affect God at all. What did it even mean? What does it all mean? It's a good question. I can see it now. Supernatural. The end. No, I can't see it. I don't want to see it. And the cover is just a gravestone. 
It's an interesting ring there. It says Winchester. No, it's a terrible ending. Not gonna like that. All right, Dean, bearded Dean. So, what is this? Like a like in the episode's end, future Dean will make an appearance. Alternate universe Dean looks like he's in a bunker punching someone, and we're gonna see Mark of Kane apparently soon. Uh, unless this is an old scene, this would be a new thing in a season. That's there. You go. Uh, crazy. How would Dean get the Mark of Kane back? Is is all this craziness we're seeing some kind of like? You know, nightmarish scenarios God keeps putting the boys in. Alternate universes. He's showing us different versions of Dean. Or will it actually all happen in our world, in our universe this season? Open craziness in the final season. Chuck's ending? No. After everything that he has put us through, I'll be damned. Blood Mary, Bloody Mary. If I'm going to let some glorified fanboy get the last word. You tell him, Dean. Dean apparently knows of the ending Chuck told him or something and he's gonna do all his best to shove it to God to not let him have his fanboy glorified fanboy ending which is the death permanent death of the Winchesters hell no we're not gonna have that this feels bigger than us you know and and I'm out of ideas what the hell is that? I don't think we've ever seen that before. It looks like some kind of force field trapping the boys in this town. So unless this is a random Monster of the Week episode, this would relate to the bigger theme, the bigger arc of the season was God. Um, if I had to like venture a random guess, I would say he's keeping, he's keeping them out of somewhere, probably a place that can hurt him, maybe a place with some kind of hand of God, weapon of God that can actually hurt God, but... This doesn't make sense because weapons, hands of God couldn't even hurt Lucifer properly when Crowley tried them. So why would God's own hands, powers, whatever, hurt him? Unless it's some kind of secret weapon, a Mara stashed somewhere that could actually hurt God and is keeping them out. Or it could just be like a misleading scene from a random Monster of the Week episode with uh, the boys again trapped with his family here trying to save his family. Or could be uh, at the beginning of the season, right after the zombies attack. The boys are once again trapped in that place. They couldn't move. Hell, you could have like a hundred guesses and could be something, none of them. Could be something brand new we never expected. So either way, it looks really interesting. And I'm looking forward to find out what this force field is exactly. Okay, this looks kind of like a hand of God, whatever that thing is, looks ancient, looks like similar to the things, uh, the hands of God we've seen in earlier seasons, when Crowley collected some, Lucifer collected some, Crowley used some to attack Lucifer, but didn't really affect him, so, yeah, whatever this is, is some kind of ancient weapon that can hurt God, or one of hands of God, which, I don't know what to be using it for, against God himself, I don't know, we have to wait and see. Jamie, please. Please. You can't. Dean begging Sam to not do something, most likely. Sam probably wants to sacrifice himself or something. Or he probably wants to say yes to Lucifer to fight God. Imagine if that's the case. He's begging him not to do that. But desperate times, and Sam insists on doing it. You can see later in the, in the trailer that we're going to see Sam in his white suit. Remember that end episode, the future events, when Sam lets himself get possessed and kills future Dean? This could be what Dean's begging Sam to do. And how? And now in this shot, we have the cult is back, as we've seen earlier. And Dean is struggling to use it, apparently. As you see from his facial expressions, he's not very happy about what he's about to do. Is he thinking of killing Sam with Lucifer in him? To, like, stop Lucifer from going rogue or something? But, again, this wouldn't make sense, because we know that the cult does not kill Lucifer. So, it's something else that Dean's convicted about. Again, crazy times, guys. Final season has tons of twists and turns. We're gonna all, we're gonna see bits of in this trailer. Let's continue. Do this to the fans. S looks like Soulless Sam or Lucifer Sam, Samifer. And we hear, uh, we hear Becky's voice saying, talking to God, telling him you cannot do that to fans, presumably God, because who else should be telling that to, right? It's awful. We have a doppelganger Adam here. Surprisingly, the actor doesn't look like he aged much. Obviously, his makeup and everything looks very much almost the same since last time we saw him in season, what, season five? Yep. 
And so last time we saw him, so it's wow, ten years in the making, and the actor looks almost pretty much the same. He's eating pie like Dean would, and he's wearing the same jacket Dean has. So this is supposed to be like another version of Dean looking like Adam or something, some crazy thing like that. I don't know, but we have two Adams and it doesn't make any sense. You have to watch and find out the context for this, but it looks pretty cool. Horrible. Hopeless. Becky calling out God. Werewolves, a new angel actor, bearded Dean again. Could be a future Dean, alternate universe, alternate universe Dean. We don't know, but interesting. I can do anything. White suit Sam, you cannot mistake that, that's Lucifer Sam, and uh, God says he can't do anything, Becky calling him out, and he's like, I'm gonna do whatever I want, I'm a writer, he's gonna say that later, um, apparently he's gonna make Sam say like, yes to Lucifer again, like he did in that future scenario we saw, so what is going on guys, a lot of things in this, we're not even two minutes yet, and mind blowing stuff happening, it's gonna be a crazy season. Boys fighting the zombies, Dean running in the woods, apparently. I'm a writer. Explosions. Supernatural. Gonna love it. No, I'm not gonna love... I, don't, I already don't love that the show's ending, so I doubt whatever ending is gonna have. Unless, like, it's really open, that's probably I'm gonna love that, because it's gonna hint at a future return. But wow, what a crazy trailer we got here amazing one by shaving people punting things as usual they make the best ones in a lot of cases it's actually the trailer is better than the actual episodes actual season we get so that's how good they are they make the season look even better than it really is but in this case uh, i'm thinking slash hoping that the season lives up to that amazing trailer to the legacy of the show the final season wrapping everything up um you know Again, I'm going to keep qualifying it by saying until further notice because we already got a lot of hints already covered on this channel of a possible future return of the show. One can only have that hope, have faith, if you will, because the show talks about faith a lot. Faith that the show will come back in some form in the future, most likely a shorter season. They don't want to make that 20, 20 plus seasons anymore. That's pretty obvious. They don't want to spend time with their families. They want to do other things like we heard Jerry Padalecki. Apparently he's working, he's going to be a star of a uh, remake of Walker Texas Ranger show. I have mixed feelings about that, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video. This video is all about Supernatural. It's all about this new trailer we got. Again, a lot of crazy things happening, guys. And Mark of Cain is back, the cult is back. Uh, we have not just one Adam back, two Adams. The other one's probably like a shapeshifter or some kind of like a doppelganger of Adam. We have, uh, oh, Sam Lucifer in a white suit, crazy. We have Bearded Dean, what does that mean? Is it the future version of Dean again? I don't know, but whatever it is, craziness. Obviously, we're gonna have them fight off the zombies at the beginning of the season. That's that's the one that's easy to interpret, is easy to expect, because that's a cliffhanger from last season. And when a new scene we got today, I made a video about, they're pondering what to do about the zombies outside, and they're trapped inside, so, we don't know how they're gonna get out of that yet. Hopefully they find a way to fight their way through. I don't want like a crazy ex machina thing where some magical being gets him out. As uh, even weaken Cass enough, he cannot smite his way through the zombies. He cannot teleport the boys away. So what are they gonna do in that very tough survival situation? I don't know, but whatever it is, I hope they do it like the old fashioned way, fighting their way out of it and not some magical solution out of, out of nowhere. Adam popping up, um, you know, Amara saving them, Jack coming back saving them. I doubt it's going to be Jack because I heard, thankfully, he's not going to come back till like later in the season. I want him to focus just on the boys for the most part, for the whole season, if I have a choice. But I'm sure he's going to have all these other characters, as usual, taking the focus off them. I hope it doesn't detract too much from the boys, though. Season 14 had a lot of that. Most of it was that. Did not like that. Was my least favorite season because of that reason. The focus was too much on Jack and not on the boys and other characters also, not the boys. But the final season has to be all of them. Come on, there's the chance to do that. So hopefully we get at least 90% focus on the boys in the final season. They deserve that. It's their show. They deserve to have all the focus. So yeah, uh, crazy trailer. Loved it. Uh, a lot of crazy things happening in it. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Uh, what, what did you pick up? 
uh, on on the Twitter. How do you interpret all this craziness we got? What did I miss? Because we have a lot of quick shots in the trailer. Let me know down below in the comments what you picked up on. Subscribe for more awesome scratch content. Until next time, as always, no chick flick moments.